Hey, today I'm gonna to show you a technique that I find super fun in the wintertime, springtime, summertime, all year long, but it really brightens the food that you're cooking. And we're gonna make quick pickles. Now, sometimes you're making a pork chop and you put heavy like sauteed onions or mushrooms on top. It'd be not much brighter and, and probably a little more healthy to do a quick pickle on top as your finish. So as you can see, I have different kinds of vegetables. Here I have uh, pepper rings all cut up with some uh, julienne red onion. Uh, here I've got some cucumbers. The bigger you cut your vegetable, the longer it's gonna take to pickle, right? So something like this will pickle in maybe five minutes. Got a couple of things going on here. I like to bloom my spices. And by doing that, what I'm talking about is I put them into a hot pan and let the heat kind of bring out the oils of the spice because this is a pretty much a cold process. You want fresh spices, just like you want a fresh piece of fish. Uh, we're gonna start here with our rice vinegar. And in that, we're gonna put cumin seed, star anise, which is just a beautiful, tasty pod of spice, and a little brown mustard seed. And we're gonna let those heat up and start to bloom. For the next one, I'm going to take my white vinegar, just a distilled white vinegar, and I'm gonna go with toasted coriander, some cinnamon sticks, and a little juniper berry. And for my last one, I'm going to have apple cider vinegar. And this is a spice of many people keep in their home. So I thought I'd throw in one that you might already have. This is just a classic pickling spice. Let's say you're making a shrimp cocktail, something like that. This is the classic pickling spice that many people have in their home. Now, if you just use vinegar, you're going to have very sour pickles. Uh, so I balance my vinegar with a little sweetener. Uh, in my more Asian style mix, this one right here, I'm going to use a little palm sugar, and that's plenty for the amount of vinegar that I have. In my uh, little white vinegar and coriander seed mix, I'm going to use just a little white sugar. And then in my apple cider vinegar, let's try apple cider vinegar and honey. All of them need a bit of salt. So as soon as it comes to a boil and your sugar is completely absorbed into the vinegar, all we're going to do is take it and pour right over top of our vegetables. Can you smell those out there? Yes, you can. You know you can. Another great thing about these is that you can use them tonight or put them in your refrigerator for weeks at a time. Thanks for joining me today for Quick Pickles.